What up, what up, what up? Croc342 with another video. Back at it one more time. Farm Sim 19 on the Ravenport, Ravenport map. Still doing some cleaning up. Uh, finally got some of the frame rate stable, I guess. Uh, apologies for those for that if there was any stumbling or delays it happens when you have a lot of mods so just just had a lot of mods that if we go through so uh, it is what it is so I got another copy of this that I'll probably probably sooner or later be playing on or whatever. Other than that, so I'd take it easy today. Make an easy, easy day. It's nice outside. It's 70 degrees outside in Cleveland. I can't believe it. It's beautiful. Uh, it rained all morning, but you know, I'm pretty much was outside every single day. So for this day, so I decided to go on ahead and get this day. Um, take take a break from work I did the majority of the work so it, was, it still worked out as long as I have it done by uh, the weekend it would be good to go so wait a minute, I thought I had a shovel on this thing guess not I'm going to go to the shop oh okay this one okay that one don't have a shovel so I got something it's one around here that has a shovel on it lost my other trader right here my heavy haul trader I had to put it back in later. It's no problem. Some mods I just had to go through because it was like multiple mods, same mods, couple mods that looked the same. I'm like, jeez. Yeah, so it is what it is. Like it's a little stable. It's not the stable as I want it to be, but yeah. I want to build me another system. That's what I want to do. That definitely want to get into the Ryzen but uh, because of things current situation I want to try to sort of be careful and I'll probably do like I did when I bought my last computer but plus I don't have the room anyway so it wouldn't it wouldn't matter anyway It'd be nice to have it, but I don't want it in a small case I want it in a bigger case so it can breathe just like this one but if I can get in a case just like this and then I just build me a rising system in it alright let's see I enjoyed this map a whole lot because I mean I worked hard to uh, actually because I'm sitting on 14 million and I'm, I'm only doing that because I actually a lot of my stuff um, I, I worked hard for it I mean I had bought everything up I didn't really uh, cheat to get the um, get the money but I did use we got another stumble I don't know but um, um I got a chance to put a lot of stuff on this map and now my other map has just got snow on it now so I'm probably gonna have to take some more mods out I got a whole heap of mods I mean I got so many mods I didn't know I had that many every time something came out new I had I ended up with it but I needed to try it out check it out to see how it felt to have it which is okay you got it I mean you, can, you know then a lot of times you want to build a system that be able to handle all those mods but I, I don't I didn't want to be choking the mess out of my uh, system with the mods so yeah <clears throat> Oop. 
other than that, I'm trying to relax. I think I forgot to turn my fan on. Hold on a minute. One of the so long So I spent all morning going filtering through my mods, listening to news, and listening to things going on there. I had to listen to some stuff well, based on my business and whatnot. So, I mean, everybody's affected, but they're not affected. I mean, you know, my side. A little business. I don't have to necessarily meet up with somebody to talk to them about my product, but because that's where I can use the internet, and I had set my thing up a long time ago. Just in case I might have to have somebody we couldn't uh, meet up, and they would have to go to my website, you know, and things of that nature. So, but as far as I. No, my company still still in business, still moving forward. You're still getting paid. You're still getting paid. I get paid if I, if I put in the work. I get paid if I put in the work, which is fine. You know, so it works out for me. And um, oh, we gonna put that axle back up. Uh, okay, go down. That's nice. Yeah, it was just like with with American Truck Simulator, I had to get rid of some of the mods, so you know. But I didn't want to be bored with not using mods, so yeah. All right, let's see. I want to start packaging this stuff and start getting rid of it. Um, some of my traders. I'm gonna have to find out what side, what kind of trader that was. Got a lot of stuff on this mount, and that's probably the reason why it kind of bogged it out a little bit. But I gotta still get rid of my horses. It's another thing I gotta get rid of. Get rid of my pigs. Uh, I think I, I think did I get rid of the sheep? I think I got rid of the sheep too. I'm trying to find my other little equipment. Please. Where's my other little equipment over here? Because I was going to start picking up some of this stuff. Well, hopefully uh, everything is well with everybody. So it's, it's good to be positive. I mean, it's, I mean, it would have been nice enough for me to ride my bike. Yeah, nice enough to ride my bike. Put some air in it. But in the tire, so... But it's not a big deal. Oh, this is the other one. Okay. I just don't have no. I'm going to have to go and get the um, a shovel. Yeah, I have to go and get me a shovel. I thought I had a shovel. I mean, I told you I got rid of a lot of stuff. And one thing I need to start doing now is start really sticking with this. Uh, the equipment that actually is particularly in game you know I don't know that that'll probably bore y'all but uh but I mean it is what it is because uh you know sometimes these mods do they do they start doing some stuff you know take away from the they don't take away from the realism but it just takes away from the game itself fortunately and you know just Oh no, we don't want that one. That's the tail hander handler. Uh, wheel loader. That's the one I need. Okay, so that's not a mod. See these? See these are mods right here. And I'm gonna start using. Hey, mm -hmm. I'm on fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab this. We're going to drive all the way back there to get it. So, hold on a minute. Sun came in. Um, all right.
kind of still relax now it's been a week since I've been away from the job and it's okay because <laughs> I think I would have never got that truck the way I was at it. It's almost done. Still some other stuff I gotta do. The main point, problem, the main issue is corrected. I will do a pressure test on it. Um, Pressure test on it. Make sure everything is good on it. Got the track all on. This is weird. So I actually got the mirrors to work. And that's probably why a lot of it is bogging. Uh, I mean, I got it turned up a little bit, but kind of sort of keep the realism. Farm Sim 19 is sort of power hungry because um, it's one game that you can't really run another game on. And when it wants to load it up, oh, it's, oh, it's not allowing you to let anything else play it it's other than what it is. So it's cool. I know I got to get another DLC, which is I think is an air seeder. I haven't bought it yet because it's um, a little too pricey for me. Yeah. Looks like I got some other stuff I gotta buy from other games. So. Oh, okay. Alright. Another interruption. Sorry about that. Alright. Trying to focus on the, on the um, on the video, distracting me a little bit. All right, I know I need to move some of this stuff. I think I'm gonna end up getting take this other truck right here. So I'm gonna go around the back. Well, I know that my frame rates are slightly better slightly better it could be better but it would be better much better but it has the mods in here so many mods in here so I probably still feel to do some more and mainly trying to keep a lot of my up-to-date ones and getting rid of some of the stuff that's all because a lot of them are edits of the actual trucks in the game so I figure well might as well go on ahead and keep the ones that I know that are um, New up to newer and up to date, so that's mainly my what my main objective is. And I think I'm going to hit pull this trailer, this truck trailer out that I got over here. That'll give me a ch chance to get rid of something else. This is a new new type truck that I got. Griffin. Ain't bad truck. Bad looking truck at it. At it looks like a it looks like a um a Scania. Fire her up. Let's see how she sounds. Oh, very nice, very nice. I sort of like the low profile type of it. You got the double axles on it. It's got beacons on it? Nope. Lights work. I forgot to try to set up the uh, transmission in it. This is one thing I don't like about this. Every truck you get, you have to set it up, but um, it's not too bad. Once you set it up, it's set up, so. 
I think that's. I mean, I think uh, Giants should have created a, um, a transmission setup in here in this truck. Oh, I forgot. I gotta. That's what that cat truck. That cat truck gotta connect to that. So I definitely gotta hook that. Hook that up. And, all right. Let's unfold. Unfold this. To unfold. What the heck is that? Why well, won't it? It's not unfolding. And that's that's the thing I'm talking about. Some of these mods, they're supposed to do a certain thing and then they don't do what they're supposed to. You know, I need to get on the air goes. Maybe that was okay. Well, that's a mouse. That's controlled by the mouse. Okay. All right. I give my excuse. Thing about the mouse with this thing, it's sort of tricky because you got to grab it and pull it. It's a lot to it. Okay. Let's go on ahead and go over here. Hope y'all like the Euro truck. Um, I need to change the pace and then I've been neglecting a lot of my games so I gotta get in here and get these other games played I'm sorry in, my, in front of, in, in the middle of my busy life I have to do it and you have to be patient enough to go ahead and understand that hopefully everybody that is because I can play ATS all day long and it's just not defeating the purpose for what you know, my other games are being neglected and I get some views, but it's not enough for me to really inspire me to, uh, there we go. Must have didn't have this up enough. Let's see if we can climb up on there now. There it goes. And then my camera angle is probably off track. Yeah, it's sort of off the way I'm positioning. So that's probably why it didn't look like, ooh, this thing is heavy. Ha! Heavy. All right, give me. Alright, back at it. Let's go on ahead and finish this up. Let's see if I can bring this down a little bit. And look, I, and, and the funny thing about it is I can't put nothing else on here. <laughs> at all. And I've always tried to... Oh, there it goes. Sometimes it don't want to work right. And then this is the side panel that actually is supposed to be for the game. Here we go. I'll put her down. Okay, let's see what this thing can do. Hopefully it don't tear my darn equipment up trying to Alright, let's shut her down. She already is noisy. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think the, uh, on my other Raffin' Port map, I did, and then I had to get rid of another Raffin' Port map because I already had one already. And so I decided to go in and create another one, but it's all snow. It has all snow on it. So technically, when you actually create the snow, I mean, well, you have the seasons mod in there. Okay. Um, it actually kills everything on the on the on the map, which is 
I say that all your crops disappear. So I didn't want to take a risk of doing that on this one. Which would have been fine because um, I was pretty much so done with it. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing with this now. No, I could have probably. No, I ain't gonna be greedy. I put. I just leave it alone. All right. Oh, it's got the wheels in the back turning. Go inside to see how it looks inside. I hear some people don't like the, the, the vehicle control add on, it's not realistic. But like I said, you have to make do for what you got. I just got tired of just hearing just one sound. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be driving, I might as well hear all the, hear all the gears, and then if I have a load. The truck can, can rebound when it comes down to a load, so. I just realized I didn't have, I gotta take. Okay, let me go in here and drop her down. I think I might have to work it myself. This thing is must be heavy. And then I have this motor load and slip feature. This thing is slipping. Let me see, I might have to change the transmission in it. Let me see. Let's see well the two six may not work. I have to use a split. Sixty gears with split. Definitely ain't using a car range. You said might have to go full. Let's see what. Let's see what the. Uh, and then this is a European, the 26. 2x6 two is supposed to be a European setup. So that that is normally used uh, for these situations. May have to go with that. I don't know. I see. I don't really want to like going through all this shifting stuff if I don't have to. Alright, let's go outside. I just like the whole concept because you can use the clutch and you got all these extra gears. Definitely interesting. I just wish this thing had beacons on. Why I don't have beacons on it? That's crazy. Not even an ounce of beacons on it. Unless I missed them, I must have missed them. I might, might have to go back and see if I can find them. And this thing sort of got a automatic feature on it. You didn't have to go real fast anyway, it's just fine. It's breaking down. I'm not even really using the clutch. Let's see if it dropped down. I think I got auto clutch. Yep, I got auto clutch in here. Oh, we slipping. Yep, we slipping bad. Let's go in and try to see if we can. 
drop the gear down. Oh, we don't need the ground, that's why. Alright, let's see. Switch it over back over to regular regular mode and see what happens. wheels is moving. There we go. Is it coming? Is it going? Well, we technically here, so I'm not going to keep fighting with it. Interesting. Alright. Well, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to go on in. we already here, so probably once the weight is on off of it, because we are in the ground. That's probably why. But look at how this thing is just, just spinning. Parking brake on. Okay. Let's on and unload this puppy. Okay, there we go. That's it's on. There. One thing uh, not see why uh, this mouse is just hopefully they give us an update for that. I'm telling you, it's just hard to spin the camera around. Even, it's even losing this grip. It's crazy. 95% slip. I mean, we ain't get no traction. I ain't know this thing was getting stuck like that. Come on out of here. Fall on out of here. Come on. We can do it. Uh, I'm stuck somehow. Oop. I have to just. That's why I wish I had my other trailer. I'm definitely going to put it back in here. And I didn't even know I was getting rid of it. As I tried to look through, look at every picture of every uh, mod I was taking out to make sure I wasn't making no mistakes. But, can't catch everything. back and uh, put that other load on there, that other trailer, I'm going to let that other truck that I got. Now what I want to do, I'm not, it's not that bad because I can redo this land, the other land can be redone or I, I can get it flat because there's a feature where you can actually um, do the landscaping. I, I mean I jacked it up over there, it just this looks bad. Yeah, I tried. It's bad. Uh, other than that, we trying. And then uh, every time, every time they give us something new, you got to learn something new. So. And that's one thing I don't mind doing. Learn something new. Gotta expand your horizon. And then, I mean, put forth your full potential. You know, you know, we're intelligent beings. We bought the most 
intelligent uh, species on the planet. Like I said on in my Facebook uh, live before, those that follow me on Facebook. I can be controversial a little bit, but it's all love, you know, because at the end of the day, we got to do better, you know. You, know, you can't get so desperate with ripping people off with money, you know, or you using money to, to actually rip people off. You can't do that. I'd be, oop, see, messing up a little bit. Okay, let's correct that. Oh, it's, oh, we didn't lose all of it. We still got 95%. That's perfect. That's good enough. Just enough to, to, to load this up. I know what I need to do. I need to move that. I need to go on and move that truck. This is sort of a struggle. I, I think I didn't even know that this was, this was. This is potatoes. I tried to pick it up with the um, with that other machine. This thing going to work. Probably turn both of these vehicles around so I won't have to work so hard. Now, I wish up. Now, one thing I wish they would have created like a death lock. Now, I think they did that on the other game, but I know I might have to look on the website, on the mind site, and see if I can see one. Somebody actually put one on him. Shoot, I got probably about 20 something gears on this truck because I got, I mean, on these vehicles because I can use my shifter. I got two different type shifters. I can use the automatic feature. I can, you know, I can kind of finagle. Only thing I didn't set up yet is the joysticks to be able to run both um, running machines, like you know, like the escalators. I wanted to do that, but I got a lot already hooked up already. This is what this side panel was posing for. That the side panel don't do everything it's supposed to do. It's supposed to. I mean, it's okay. I'm not gonna hate on it, but it's just not not holding to holding his own because even with the steering wheel I liked the steering wheel I could have got the steering wheel and, and I would have spent the money on the steering wheel but just too costly you know he wanted too much for it and I mean why buy a wheel and you already got a wheel <laughs> you know I had a wheel already I got a wheel already so I definitely can see if there's a load and then the slip. I don't know if y'all can see that in the corner, in the right hand corner. Which, if I had this at 1920, 1080, then you'll be able to see everything. But, but I just like the whole point, whole concept of being able to see everything. You know, especially on my side. If you, but y'all have that that privilege of doing the same thing because I. Finally got the webcam seeing some things, so so you still it's not all foiled. Okay, gonna shut that down. This is a little too noisy. Oh, this equipment it can be noisy sometimes. And I forgot where do I take the potatoes? I forgot. I could. Uh, I don't think. I don't think the. Uh, the meals take potatoes. I'm not sure. I, mean, I haven't been playing this game in a minute. That's why I'm sort of off my game a little bit. Sort of slow with doing some stuff. Because I've been playing everything else. I say you can't, you can't just play just one game or two games or whatever. You gotta enjoy everything. You gotta enjoy life as you like I always say. Expand your horizon. Don't just stick to one thing and program yourself and just oh I can't do this and can't do that. Oh, I want to do this and do that. But it's all it's all enjoyment. Let's see. Here we go.
I just recently got these trucks, this uh, cat truck. I think it's uh, 9 by 5 9 5 I forgot the guy's name, but he does an excellent job on his trucks. Um, this is an AR setup on this cat, which I got some other some other trucks like that. I'll probably buy them. I don't know. Those mainly the trucks that I'm trying to concentrate on. The newer stuff that's actually more interactive with the game now. So, I mean, the game trucks are okay, but they they could be they could be spruced up a little bit, especially when you're dealing with this heavy stuff. Because I know when I started out playing this game, a lot of stuff was just I mean it was unrealistic. I mean, you know, we're gonna be lo rolling loads. You know, you want to be heavy, you know, and then you need to have the gears to be able to do the job. If you can't do the job, that's what I'm talking about. Hold on a minute. That. Uh, just like I said, I can't turn off my life. <laughs> I got people coming in, but they try not to interrupt me when I'm doing doing the streaming. So, I'm doing the videos or whatever. The thing about it is, you gotta just like I've, I've seen a couple streamers. They come in with their pets. They come in with their, their kids. Come in into the stream. Just cool. That is cool. That's that's what you want. You know, you want to be transparent. There's nothing wrong with that. That's human. That's you being human. You know, the situation now, they saying that we all got to separate and it's like that. That's fine. Whatever. You know, and I'm with family. You know, I, I mean, and a lot of stuff I'm not in fear of because, you know, I, was, I learned a long time ago, you know, fear is, can be a weakness. Full, full flash weakness. And, you know, a lot of times you have to ask the higher power to help you with that fear because it's a fear that, and if you read, read, you'll find out there's a fear that you can't have and it's not recommended to have because. Because, I mean, in the, in, the, in the illustration, I'm going to tell you, if anybody know about rodents or mice, mice, they have a fear of everything. They, they, they're, they're like um, what they do. They only come out at, at a certain time. And they only come out when they, when no one's around them. You know, they're not. But you got some rats. They're, they're, they're not fearful. You know, they're not. Oh, he's messing up. Uh oh. Losing the load. Uh oh. Damn. But we still got 89%. It's okay. We we'll get through it. It's just my controls isn't doing what it's supposed to do. And that's only because I gotta redo some stuff on here. Technically, I'm supposed to be using the mouse. And that's what I'm using right now, but. I don't like to use the mouse. It's not it's not realistic for me. I mean, the equipment that I I bought to do the work. Yeah. Okay, just make it short. Okay, let me back this up. Sure, we staying in the trigger. I don't, definitely don't want to keep wasting stuff. Here we go. What the heck is they talking about? This accident cannot be performed here. All I'm doing is unloading the fucking trailer. I mean, the, uh, the truck. I mean, the, uh, the machine. What are they talking about? They don't know what they talking about. All right, let's move up a little bit. We got 20 percent to go, and then. Uh, while we waiting on this, well, I'm, I'm gonna take a break from here, and I'm gonna go and get this other equipment over here. Now it's funny how I had did this yard before over here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Some time ago, I mean, we're not growing nothing over here. It's kind of weird. I don't know. 
Well, it's probably because of the time. Because I have it on a realistic time where, I mean, you can't expect all the stuff to grow. And I don't want it to grow right now anyway. <laughs> at all. Okay, so the only thing we got left is the horses. We're going to get rid of those horses very soon because the productivity is pretty much um, uh, just just terrible. And I'm going to get rid of all that. Get rid of all that on that lamb because I sort of got tired of it. it I mean, it, it was fun while it lasted. Okay, those are my wood chips. Okay, I got water. Uh, that's the potatoes. Let's see. Plus, I might get rid of some more of this equipment. See, this is the where I had messed up. <laughs> trying to trying to use the landscaping thing. I'm like, wow, what the heck am I doing? And it well, technically, what it is, what, what I can tell y'all is, when I tried to use it, it just wasn't user friendly. I mean, it just wasn't. I mean, I'm, I don't give a care what nobody say. It just, I mean, for me to do this much damage, you know, and then it was like, it just didn't want to do right. It just went, I don't know. Maybe I want, I mean, I, I shouldn't have had no problems with that. And they probably up, probably uh, updated it, but I'm not sure. What is this over here? I know this is a truck I had to put. Oh, my C500. And you know why I had to put this truck over here? Because the game started doing a lot of crazy stuff. Why? Too many mods. So those that love your mods is fine. But a lot of times the game don't love them. You know, it's okay. You know. You still have room to spend your horizon. But just understand that at the end of the day, you still got to clean up what you messed up. And start it all over again. They made a song about that. So we got a chance as we as long as we live to um to fix things. Yeah. Oh the train, we can drive the train. Let's see, there it is. I figured I'd come across it sooner or later. And I could have went right to the map and got it. I just didn't feel like going all, going through all that. Just wanted to sort of let y'all see some stuff. Let's see. And then you can configure it. That's one thing I liked about this. Some people say, oh, I don't like it. You know, but. You know, sometimes you gotta try something. While you say you don't like it. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, let's fire her up. And I kept trying to figure out where those things. I mean, what I use those things now. I can use. I can put my other equipment on here, and that's what I'm gonna do with this. I got something else, but I'm gonna get a shovel before I actually get rid. Um, and then I gotta bring my other trailer over back over to get that trailer over there because I it's a that's a pup that goes with this other trailer I got. Uh, I'm sort of still cleaning up. And this truck you can put the tag axle in the front or in the rear just like on the other one plus I got towing I mean not towing uh, got snow package on it it's nice I mean he did an excellent job I think a lot of his trucks actually have they are well equipped and but to bring out a 680 uh, cat I love it you know it's a beautiful truck there we go flatbed hooked up to it and now we got the beacons. Yes, we got beacons now. It, beautiful. Now we're gonna turn this around. And we get, cause I think I had to get rid of my other uh, tail handler. I think that's what they call it. I don't know if, for what reason. Oh, that's my other truck right there. That's a nice truck too. I don't know who built them, built that. Um, it's set up for, uh, for snow. And I don't know if I, I don't think I actually put the snow mod in here at all. I just had a, just a fan of the snow. I mean, I want, I don't know if they actually going to put the seasons in. They just supposed to be putting seasons, giving us an update for seasons. We'll see. I'm just 
sort of glad that my game is a little bit more stable. Oh, I would have got rid of all the mods, but I, I, it was some of these new mods I just didn't want to get rid of. So, all right, we're gonna lower the ramp. Seat number six. Six. Okay, X then. There we go. I knew one of them was supposed to work. Because uh, I know, I mean, I know his stuff is tight. He made sure his stuff is tight. And up in the community, they, they talk highly of this because Expandables modding. There's a modding group called Expandables. And this this guy is just awesome. Nine by, uh, nine by five, five by nine, something like that. Six six by nine or, or something like that but I mean I'm not me making fun of his name and I like that but I like I like his work you know I'm bad with everybody's name I mess everybody's name up unfortunately all right let's go on and get this shovel for this uh, tail handler I think I'm just gonna get a simple simple shovel I don't know what that is oh that's to yeah, these are mods. I don't want to be dealing with the mods right now. I want to keep the original stuff as much as I can. Yeah, and then you can buy it, lease it. We got 14 million. Now on my other profile, it's only eight. Let me see, was it eight? It was 80,000. And that was, I mean, when, technically when the mods really start affecting me was when I started playing on that platform. And I pretty much started from scratch. When I could not play that side, I was like, I got too many mods in here. I need to pull them out. You know, I had to, I had to get rid of them. Well, I didn't take, I mean, I just took them out, you know, and I won't probably, some of the stuff is just old. The only thing I want is my heavy haul trailers with the stingers and stuff. That's all I want. I don't want nothing else out of, out of that, out of what I put in there and hopefully and I think somebody done stops the slow down I'm gonna let y'all check out these other trucks this truck is bad I mean there's two different types I'm gonna let y'all see them real quick I'll be over here now this is the king I think this is the king no this ain't king ranch is it it's the FXT off-road got the got some heavy some, some serious tires on it I'm gonna let y'all hear it crank up this bad you know, you know I'm a fan of these sounds. Let me see if I can I go in it. Let me see where y'all in there. I think they made sure all the, everything worked inside. But this is what I want to show y'all. Because I think this thing got daytime lights on it. When I fire it up. I'm going to turn it this way. Now if that ain't, if that ain't craftsmanship, I don't know what it is. That is beautiful. How those lights come on like that. And those are daytime lights. Those ain't those. They, I mean, those are daytime lights. Which you ain't got too many people that know how to put the daytime lights in. These, I mean, the lights in these trucks are hard to put in. They're hard. You know, a lot of people have told me that. And um, it's got the gooseneck set up. So if I want to go in here, and I got the plow. Oh man, look at it. That's a double, uh, double sunroof. I didn't even really got a chance to check this truck out. Six seven. Beautiful, beautiful truck. I think I can't. Yeah, I can't put the uh, add-on mod on here, but it does run nicely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and move it somewhere else so y'all can see. Sounds good. Beautiful truck. Get back inside the cab, and they did an excellent job. I mean, that's when you actually get in here and start doing the, doing the dashboard. That's that's ooh, ooh, running into stuff. Oh, I forgot. I gotta hit the uh, hit the brakes to bag up with it. But it's nice. They did an excellent job. I don't care what nobody say. The um tack works everything works inside that you know that needs to work which is nice and I'm just gonna drive this away because um, I need to get rid of it anyway For some reason it's just 
some interesting areas around the um around the shop for some reason. The, the now my frame rates are still kind of jacked up a little bit, but the game is functional, so I'll probably be taking some more more, more mods out sooner or later. I just gotta and mainly what I'm concentrating on not so much as the trucks, but more of the American trucks. I mean, the game already has its own trucks. If I want to use a truck or whatever, ooh, gotta avoid that tree. Oop, hitting the sign. Oop, about to hit the sign. Oh, snap. That's alright. We doing good. I'm sort of moving fast, faster than I thought. And that's the thing that when when your frame rate start doing what it's supposed to do, then it and you really start flying. Start really flying. Lights look good. LED lights. Beautiful. I didn't even bother to see how the back of the lights work. Oh, they is bright. Oh my goodness. They did a good job on this. And that's your 2020. That's my 2020. This is the 450, I think. I'm sure y'all should know these know these vehicles better than me. And that's the reason why I said I want. I mean, I like the old mods, but uh, I'm digging these new mods, man. I'm digging these new mods, like that 567 I got right there. And I got a, a step van. I mean, uh, I think I got rid of my. I got rid of something I shouldn't have got rid of, but I don't care supposed to have been uh, still on here I'll put it right back in here later on got rid of my uh, my storage for my uh, if, I, if I decide to go on ahead and go back to uh, farming again I think I'm going to put it right over here for the uh, C70 I even got another truck like that which they got that one off of Farm Sim 17. He brought it back, brought it in. It's a nice truck. I've already showcased it before. You have to go back through my archives and see them, see it. That is nice. It sounds good. Beautiful. Shut, shut it down. There we go. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go back. This is another new truck that they just came out with. All they did was actually take the the bed off the back and put it on you know that's this is technically a lizard truck it's not bad because at least they did have enough sense to go on ahead and customize it because I think I have a I had a double I had a it was a crew cab I had a single cab with the dually and then I might get those back I don't know I think about it but uh, that's nice that's a nice new truck. This is another nice truck, to, new, new truck they created. Even though it's a, um, the Hawk truck or whatever, I'm gonna go in and get these. What's the name? Some water still. And they're supposed to not need water because they have a fuel tracing thing right here. See, I had put that all in, so that's why I don't know why they they talking about they need water. They ain't supposed to need water, and I might just keep my horses. And I think they need straw too. According to my little, um, I don't know if y'all can see it. It's right here, right on this side. Y'all can't see it, but that tells me exactly what's going on with them. The percentage. I got. I know I got some straw somewhere. This is another truck that they. I think this is the Hulk, but they went on ahead and put extended, and then put the bodies on them. This is cool, and that's mainly what made me decide not to even deal with the old uh, default trucks anymore and, um, I think they went on it and tightened them up a little bit it sounds good that's technically the basic sound you know but you know and I mean I was using the default trucks anyway because I had the um, had the add-on the, the they call it the vehicle add-on mod in here so they gave me the opportunity to go on ahead and and run these trucks. Oh, see, this is another truck. They see, this is the Hawk, but they went on and put the 
put some stuff on it and technically I can hook up to that and take it away which I might do now I'm gonna go in I'm gonna show y'all that other uh, that's the gas version Ooh, they even changed the bumper on it that's nice okay Get the lights I don't know if all the lights come on the lights yeah it's just the yeah, lights you got the tail lights the back lights they did a good job I mean you know the edges are fine and that's mainly what makes me decide to still keep I mean still use the default trucks but um, I can't you know if something happened where the mods stop working then I don't have them anymore so it's just the way it goes I wanted to change this up a little bit I'm gonna see if I can hook up to this thing. I might be able to hook up to it and get rid of it. Cause then I wanted to go and bring that other truck all the way over here because it's just a little too much. Yep, perfect. Yep. Ooh, and the lions hook up. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. Now that's 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 what I'm talking about. I didn't even know that happened. That, that worked. That's slick. All right, let's go on in and take this on over. To where the other one is at. Plus that, um, I think, see my wheel actually drops down. I think it does. Yeah, it's dropping down. It just don't look like it. Oh, no, it ain't dropped down. Let me see open cover. I guess because I I'm not hooked up to the right truck. Just fine. Now I am a fan of the inside. I will always be a fan of the insides, which is the lizard, because this is the, what you call the lizard trucks because they don't want to deal with the copyright I mean not the copyright, the artistic license so just fine I'll always be a fan of them looks like I had some beacons or something Get my beacons on here. Which normally rollbacks have beacons on them, they're supposed to. Maybe they couldn't put them on here. Show, no, show would have been nice. So I'm gonna go on and get grabbed out of the truck. I've moved it down here somewhere. Yeah, I put her in a lot of work. That's why you see all this stuff. I mean, this, this took a long time for me to get done. You know. Long time. And we got an L9000 and we just drove past. There it is, right there. No, that is, that's not it. Oh, it's right here. I know I had brought it down here somewhere. So this technically goes with this trailer right here. It's got the, the super, super wheels. and hook up to it. Uh, I think it would be a minute before I actually plant any more stuff. Just wanted some new, I think since I got uh, since we had the opportunity to get the snow and the weather stuff like that, you know, so and just trying to go outside of the get normal game functions even though the game is all about farming but you know to make it authentic and complete you gotta have all weathers but it got the Cummins M14 
sound like the M14 Cummins. Let's see, why wow, wheels work? I don't know. All right, let's hook up to this truck, this trailer. I'm gonna tuck it all, tuck it away. Over here somewhere out the way. Three eighty nine. Oh, I, got, I know what I gotta do. Oh, here we go. Oh, we had it. Oh. Got it right there. Wow. Get it. Hooked up. There we go. Cause I'm gonna need to use this one. I don't know if I'm gonna use this truck. We go on ahead and um, get rid of some of this stuff. Now you see why I like the gears because once you start putting putting the weight in there, now I'm gonna see if I can actually put something in. I'm gonna use that. Because some of this stuff is just to be too long. If you don't understand the video, you can only work so long. Okay. And that's the other truck that come from uh, 17 right there. They did a beautiful job with it because it wasn't too much they had to do. Well, I, I don't know. Because I mean, I, I, I tried to do the giant editor thing. It just it was just too much. I just said... <laughs> Let somebody else do it, you know, and then I just give you the give you the accolades for it. You know, that's all I do. Yeah, I'm going and try to finish this van up tomorrow. I could I might back flush it. Uh, I could back flush it, which I might back flush it anyway because it's it's just it's just terrible, it's so terrible, and I just hate this. You know, that's going to, I mean. Those gaskets are, I mean, are amazing. And I didn't think that they was that uh, robust. You know, so it was worth $75. And I got new bolts. The bolts work. You know, and then I'm just telling you that and everything cure. Because it's warm outside. So, that's why I said I just leave it alone. Let everything just sit in or settle or whatever. And then um, I get back out there finish it up. I think the bottle covers are tightened down. What else I do? Uh, I gotta hook up the linkages. Uh, what else? Um, gotta put the um, um, the fill uh, filler tubes in. Uh, the transmission was still in. Uh, oil. Uh, what else I had to put in there? Um, I still to put the power steering in. I mean, it took me ever to put the alternator in ever I mean it was like I had to beat it in in place just crazy but at the end of the day I still saved six hundred and fifty dollars I mean that's why I said you know you never know your full potential until you get out here and do it what you need to do all right let's fire this up let's see. oh I gotta change and then a lot of my controls I forgot. I don't even remember. <laughs> that show you how that show you how long I've been been off this game. It's crazy. Okay, so I can lower it. And we'll turn it on. B. So I'm gonna go in and let this thing I should. Oh, this is for the potatoes. So I'm going to disconnect this. Oops, wrong, wrong tool. 
There we go. I gotta turn it back on again. And I had all this stuff hooked up and everything. It's just that. Oops. I just did everything else. Ooh. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Pick up the rest of the stuff. Get rid of the stuff. It's just it's so time consuming. I mean, I understand the realisticness, but it, you can be doing working on this stuff all day. And that's why I have my equipment like I got it, because it's too much. Uh, I should have I should have moved it over. Let me see, I'm gonna go on and turn turn around and see if I can straighten up a little bit. Now you kind of see why I have everything kind of all over the place because now I still can get all the work done. Because you know, this milling machine is bad. They, they actually customized this off uh, Farm Sim 17 too. Oh, the potatoes, okay. Alright, I'll take it. Get all this stuff. Well, it's really gone ahead and finished. Get get it all up. This has always been my my favorite pickup tool right here, because it almost picks up everything, and it's so quick to getting everything up so fast. So we let that go on ahead and finish. Plus, um, you can use this for. Um, um, what is that stuff? <laughs> so how you see how far how far away I've, I've been away from uh, uh, farm sim? And I think they done already came out with a twenty, which is I think that's on console or something. Uh, those over wood chips, wood chips. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this other truck over here. Do I have wood chips? Something I could probably use this thing over here and get the wood chips in it. I just want to get all this stuff up. It's just too much. <laughs> it's just too much. And that's what sort of you know, because you. I mean, if I was streaming this, I mean, we, I mean, I kill, I kill four hours real easily by just doing this. Parking brake works. That's why I said, I, and the guy actually built this. I mean, it wasn't even on the mod site. It was, it's, I mean, um, Giant Giant didn't even know that it was created. And he took it out of his own busy schedule to put it together. And I think it's on the mod sites now. But I don't know whoever is still really using it. And it is room for an improvement of it. Because uh, last time I've been on a lot of the mod sites and been on this game. I mean, it's wrong. Plenty of wrong. So we're gonna go on ahead and let this thing see if we can pick up the rest of this. Um, I don't care. I just want it all picked up and in the trucks. <laughs> it's just getting to be irritating. Just all the stuff is like, like I've been working with this stuff forever, and it's like taking me forever to get this map done, but. I never get it done. It, it'll never get done. It's just the way it is. Which is fine. Because that's the fun in, in the game. Oh, I'm in the wrong trucks. Oh, I'm in the wrong equipment. Hold on. I thought I hopped out of it. 
so you can sit it right there. Perfect. Right there. Good. And parking brake. And we're gonna shut her down. Again. Gonna get into the equipment right here. Alright, let's see. Now see if we can go on and get the rest of these wood chips. And the thing about the wood chips, I actually tried to put the wood chips in a, uh, what was it, the furnace, it was like a heater, it didn't work, I don't know what, what the deal was, I could not use it at all, and that's what sort of teed me off, because I had all this stuff sitting over here, and I couldn't even get rid of it, so, and you technically supposed to take it to the, um, to the wood place. And you would never think all this stuff this this is a lot of a lot of product right here. A lot of product. A lot of trees. I cut down, I still got trees I ain't cut down. Man, it's just a lot of stuff I got. Alright, finish this up. I know I'm way over the time of the of the video. And my apologies, but I just hate to just, you know. Just limit my time, you know. I know you may be bored, you know. Why is he going so long? I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you can cut off. You don't have to look at it, and that's the way I, I you know, just like even with this, with this thing going, this pandemic thing going on, I'm not worried about that. It's a lot more to worry about. Like I, that truck that I had out there, they need to be worked on. That's what I was worried about. Why? Because at the end of the day, that's out of your control. Things that you can control, that's what you that's what you deal with. That's all I worry about. I worry about things that I can control. If I can't control it, I don't worry about it. I go if I when I went to work, at the time I went to work, I controlled the environment and that's all I did. I controlled my attitude at a point where I didn't have to deal with nobody if I if I didn't want to. You know. You know. People might have might have took it as a dogmatic attitude, but Sometimes people will get you caught up in some stuff. You know, they get you caught up in some stuff and don't realize they're creating problems. You know, just like the pandemic, just like I said, you had greedy folks that was taking the toilet paper, taking hand sanitizer, you know. I mean, you got the gouging folks that was gouging because of the, because of a dollar. And you know, we in a, in a, this is a time that we supposed to be the so-called reuniting or whatever or coming together and and trying to make be positive and then the last video last news thing I somebody was, didn't want to be around somebody because they had the virus and don't realize how nasty we I mean we actually look how nasty we can be you know as a human race I mean just like I saw like you know and, and it don't always be that it could be your attitude, it could be yourself, or, you know, it could be um, uh, your hygiene, it, I mean, and I know people have problems, you know, because, I mean, we would think everybody get. you should never have to have somebody tell you to, to do something that you're supposed to be doing, that's something, and, you know, and you could say, well, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because it's the government, but it ain't always the government. It's, 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 it's cleanliness. There's nothing wrong with being clean. What's, what's, what's the problem with being clean? That's the thing that I never could understand. You know, that's something that, that we should be trying to practice every day. You know, you know, it's a time to be around your family if you can. You know, some people have to work. I mean, I worked hard pretty much for three years straight. And, I mean, I did file unemployment, you know, and it's like temporary unemployment. So, I, I mean, technically, I don't have to worry about nothing. I mean, I can go out there, do my business, a person interested in that, then I help them in that particular, because that's another reason why I have to get my transportation right. I can't even get around. Problem. You know, and to save money, I have to do the stuff myself. Why? Because there's so many people ripping people off. And that's the thing that you got to understand. You know, so so much rip off. Now you got the gas stations even have enough sense to even lower their prices. So why would you lower your price? 
That's what I don't understand. Why would you lower your price? You know, oils is low. Everything is low. The airfares is low. You got people giving free cable away so the kids can be able to, to do their schooling. Everybody got to homeschool the kids. Why? Because we in a, we in a, we have an issue. And is it going to get better? I don't know. I think it may get worse. I don't even think it's going to get any better because we already in, in full swing already. We had a chance to make it better. And that's the thing that you got to understand. Sometimes you got to you got to change your attitude and just leave everything else alone. You know. That's what I had to do. I mean, I was in pain the day in and day out when I was doing my and I didn't miss a beat. I didn't miss a beat. According to my already wage, I was over make I was making over over and I still got my money. <laughs> that's the thing that now you got that's that's smart, you know. And if I did my business, I would still have that. You know, I would be only paying a certain amount of taxes on that. Why? Because that's the whole point of having a business. You know, you're not uh, uh, like an employee where they take the money off the top. You can give them what they give them enough to satisfy them, and they don't care because you know, eight percent, your eight percent, ten percent, whatever it is, you're supposed to give when you pay your taxes, and then that, then the rest of the money is yours money is yours they don't want to take all your money they just want to make sure that you do what you're supposed to do then there's another uh some religion require you to pay your 10 percent and 10 percent pay your 10 percent why because things have to be taken care of business have to be taken care of you can't expect the city not to run and that's the one thing i always didn't have no problem with when when tax time came you know you take the taxes out that means you gonna have to pay for my hospitalization, or uh, or I'm gonna need some help in one form or fashion. So I didn't mind paying paying that extra money. Why? Because I'm gonna need. You know, I don't. I mean, may not be a fan of the government or whatever, but uh, they're there for a reason. Why? Because people need to be governed. That's just the way it is. They need to be governed, and it's sad, but that's just the way it goes. You know, we all need to be governed. I need to be governed. I'm, it's fine. I'm, I'm fine with it. You know, they're telling you not to go come outside. Only, I mean, if you come outside, just mock. they ain't telling you to lock down completely. They telling you just to just to be mindful. That's all. And there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. You know. Trying to get out to the bank so I can move some money around. That's my main thing I want to do. Get some of this fresh air. And I'm sort of cooped up in here. And it's hot to me because it's, it's, it didn't warmed up outside. It's 70 degrees outside according to my phone. Might put some air in my tires and go on ahead and go for the bike ride. at something I'm trying to look at my um but the last time I looked at it, it was 71 degrees so it's supposed to be the first day of spring as far as what I was told but it's supposed to rain it's supposed to be light rain so like 65 will rain in the afternoon and it will be very windy that's why I didn't want to go back outside because I knew it was going to rain and by the time I got out there and got started it will be raining again so I'll wait until tomorrow I asked my wife, did we have anything planned? And we did. It was no problem. Because the the big, the big, biggest part of the job is done. And the more I let it sit, the better it's going to be. Because it's going to dry. I fixed my jack. Because uh, that has had to sit and dry. Because that was perfect. Because it's warm outside. Everything that I did, would, uh, did what it's supposed to do. Now, I do need to lift. I wish I could lift that van up. I mean, lift my truck up. I need to spray in my little uh, air conditioning hole where my uh, water comes out. I need to go ahead and spray that because uh, it's leaking inside. And technically, the only way you can fix that problem, you have to tear the whole dashboard out, which I don't have that kind of time. 
right now. Already occupied, trying to get some things done. Uh, ain't like I can't get it done. All right, I'm gonna go on ahead and see. I forgot I got this other this other truck over here. I can go on ahead and I don't know what this is. What is this? I forgot. This is my other T T680. I mean T not T680. T I mean Cat 680. Got the tag axle on the front. I forgot I had brought this truck out. I wish we would have made sure the uh, airlines work, but that's okay. He did a good job, anyway. I mean, the tires look good. Got the tag axle. It looks real nice. Real nice truck. And I still have a T660, too. Not a T6, the T660 or 660. I think that's what it's called. 60, 60, 660 is somewhere around here. I gotta find it. Somebody actually tightened that truck up, too. So we're gonna go on ahead. Let me see. I need to open up my um, open up my covers so we can get the rest of this product off the ground. Cause I'm tired of seeing it. <laughs> Just too much. I'm about to go on and get rid of all of it. I mean, does he gonna put more money in our pocket? Which I guess you know. Then I can. I probably. Uh, this other land over here, I might not even even redo redo it. It may be just a wasteland, and then I just gone ahead and because I do have equipment over there where I can actually um, redo all this. You know, uh, and I don't know if the motor is the same in it because I don't know if you can change the motor. Oh, it's the same motor. Okay, let me see if I can find that other truck while I'm over here around here real quick. It's my other. And then somebody put the blade on the blade attachment piece on there. I mean, I, I'm 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 happy with that. People helping me out. That's my uh. I forgot about this truck. <sighs> my anthem. Got an anthem. Oh, I got corn in here. That's why I haven't been driving. Okay, I've been driving. Why is this? Why is this bed over here? Can I get out of it? In collision. And I, and I can't move that over. I'm gonna try to see if I can get away from it. I didn't even know that happened. I'm gonna have to probably get my Mac uh, B61 and hook up to it and move it out of the way. That's another thing. Some of this stuff be just getting in the way. Yeah, that's my other trailer. Dang, I'm gonna move it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost got it. Come on. Gotta bump this clutch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bump, 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 bump. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Go ahead and release it. There we go. Come on out of here. I don't know how that thing got close to that. I might have to get that B that B truck to go on ahead and move it. Or get me some equipment to move it. Ugh, that's what I don't like be happening. Okay, let's see. See, I, that's why I said I have so much on this map. I forget what I do because I'll be too busy doing everything. <laughs> I try to enjoy everything. All right, I'm gonna get this thing over here and move it, and then I'm gonna take that B, uh, my B61 Mac dump truck and they actually fix I mean actually hook it up and move it over here out the way and I got all this room over here I cleared all this stuff out I got rid of those cucumber what's the name I sort of got tired of that yeah, just sort of got tired of it you know sometimes you get tired you want to go on and change change things around I think this truck I'm gonna sell and put a uh, my Chevy it's got a flatbed on it. I think it's got. Does it got the? Oh, I don't have to sell it because it's got the. Um, yeah, I can hook up the. Uh, what's the name on it? It's sort of dirty. I need to wash it. All right, let's go over here. Get this other equipment over here. Let 
Yeah. But this is for my trailers. For my trailers. But if I want to pull a trailer, I mean, oh, I can use this to move that. Let's see, it may work. Technically, I mean, I can. Well, I, technically, all I do, need to do is just move it out the way. Cause I didn't even know that Mac was that close to that that trailer. So I'm taking a break from the work. This stuff get start getting tired. Right. I'm gonna start moving around, doing something else. I know some people aren't fans of this game. I mean, you got some people that are fans of it. I mean, it's about as real as you can get, you know. And I think it's on console. I'm not sure. I know a lot of people. It's like, is that on console? Or can I get it on? Uh, can I get the trader? I mean, uh oh, you got, you got a little stumble. Went to disappear. That's why I said I'm gonna take some more mods out. And that equipment right there, that's uh, Anderson license, answer Anderson uh, equipment. Uh, was it for the bales? That's why I said some of the stuff. I was sort of trying to get out of the mods, but I, but I got inspired to get back in them. Because the only thing I really wanted was my T70s, my T70 trucks. I love those trucks. Used to have a T60 truck uh, years ago. I was supposed to had uh, finished it up and never got it finished. I mean, I well, I had put lights on it, had to re, had technically rebuilt the motor from the ground up. I took the block, cleaned it up, uh, put new uh, head gases on. I don't know, I mean, had uh, had the valves adjusted, uh, had a, a custom exhaust on it, yeah. and then come to find out, I couldn't never find out why I kept backfiring. And then come to find out one of the uh there's a those that know the C sixty and the C seventies, they actually have the um the booster right behind the cab, right underneath the cab, underneath the frame. And I didn't know it. So my diaphragm actually had busted. So I actually tore it apart, got another booster, and actually took the diaphragm out and rebuilt it. It was funny how I did that. And that was technically my first time really doing any major work. What the heck? Oh, I know what's wrong. There we go. I'm wondering why the thing acting all stupid. That was on my on me, God. Okay, let's go over here and get this thing. Move it over. I'm just gonna bump it. So you can get this anthem out the way. I think I was supposed to hit uh sold this corn, never sold it. And it ain't like we, we hard up for money. Because it's, I mean, all I can do is make more money. Oh, right, there we go. So now that's moved over. Let's see if I can hook up to it. I tell you, you don't need to, but I'm just going to see it. Anyway, see the other stuff I got over there? I got so much product on the ground. Everywhere. And tell you, this is where I actually had a lot of my stuff stored. I had shops over here. There we go. Okay, we can hook up to it. Perfect. All right, we're going to put it in reverse when you move it over here. Out the way. I like the animation of the fans run, running like that. That's nice. I'll turn these beacons on. Turn some lights on. I think it's sort of getting dark. It's a 12. It's only 12:22. According to the map.
and this is the incline, so we ain't, we don't have a wheel slip. I just wanted to change the sound. It just it, we shouldn't have to go through all that. Oh, that's what it is. Four by four power shift. That's what it is. Let me change it to something else. Change it to this and see how it sounds. And that's how it will really sound. Because there's no, it's just a straight transmission, straight one speed transmission. I'm going to go ahead and show you all this BMAT while I'm in here. Gonna disconnect that. Yeah, I think I tried to squeeze everything on one map. <laughs> it was okay. All right, shut you down. And we're gonna go over here. Might as well drive this truck over here too. I don't know how I put that truck over here. I must have just put it over because the frame rates was acting silly. Looks nice on the inside. They did a good job on it. Love these dump trucks. I had to get rid of my. Um, I had some dump trucks that were made by um, by a gentleman. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I had to take them out because I don't know if that was the conflict. I don't, I don't think it was, but it just. I, th I think I just had too many mods. In here. That's all. And it happens. You know, then you guys are full to through on him. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it can be a mind conflict for other mods. I'm going to bring my map up. Bring it up a lot. You know? Okay, who would that be? Uh... That B dump truck right here. All right, let's see. There it is. It's beautiful too. Look at it. He did an excellent job on it. And this truck is old. This is an old truck I got. Sounds nice. Look at the inside. Looks oh, look at it. got the twin steer. Bad, bad truck. Got some serious wheel slip with it. Hey, the turbos. Turn it up a little bit. See, now I can see what. Well, I'm losing losing grip, and that's mainly why you have the transmission, because then you can it'll pick up, it'll catch up. Yeah. Auto right, Mac, old school Mac, and it came with the trailer. Now I, the thing about it, I was using these little trucks for. See. See how that back wheels is, is kicking? Got some serious slipping right back there. Cause all this is uneven ground, you know. And then I know Farm M17 allow you to be able to go into the ground. They probably would allow us to be able to dig into the ground a little bit more often. Get the horn. Now if I had some weight back there. It wouldn't be so bad. 
That's why I said, there we go. We got the Magic Trader. Still losing, losing grip. Now, nah, nah, that's another reason why I like to, to use the clutch. I don't know if that's part of the mod, which is cool. You know, man, it look like we digging a hole. Wow, what the heck? We digging a hole. Maybe they did update it. Because we are digging a hole. We can't even get out. Let me see if I can. We losing it. Huh? That's slick. I still like it. I don't care. All right, we gonna shut her down. Enough playing with that. Okay, I'm gonna and cut this video. I appreciate everybody coming out checking me out. I'm gonna call and cut call it a day. Forgot this is another one of my trucks. Cause I this is was the map side that I was actually um. This is one truck right here. That's the T880. I wish somebody would actually fix the brake, fix the lights. This was a nice truck right here. This top kit. And then this is a nice truck too. It's got a tag axle full of seeds. And I'm going to have to go and check to see if anybody. Because it's got the sound of the Roll Runner. It's not a bad truck. It's just the lights don't work. Why? Because they won't, nobody will put the lights in. Which I don't know if it's complicated. You know. But it does pretty good. I don't know. Let's see if we can, we can slip. The wheels don't slip this bad. Now I see. Now I see why I bought that. What's the name? Because I see I got a. Look like it's sliding. Ooh, it's sliding. <laughs> look at it sliding. They, they, they did give us some, some slippery. Uh, they did give us an update. They ain't said nothing about it. That back end just slide. Wow. Okay. That's slick. All right. Shut her down. I catch y'all on the next video. Part three forty two out.